Hello, I'm Bradley Brown, head of valve springs here at CompCams. Today we're going to talk about proper valve spring installation. We'll also discuss clearances, spring loads, and break-in. Proper installation is crucial to the life of your valve train. Not to mention improper valve spring installation is a common cause of engine failure. So let's get started. We've already made sure the springs are clean and free of debris, but we're not quite ready to install them yet. First, we need to check the installed height. Place the spring seat in the spring pocket of the head, then install the valve in the guide. The installed height is the total height of the spring when the valve is closed. This is the distance from the surface where the outermost spring rides on the retainer to the surface of the spring seat being used. Next, place a height micrometer on top of the spring seat. Put the retainer and locks on the valve and pull the retainer tightly against the valve locks while holding the valve assembly steady. Measure the distance between the spring seat and the outside step of the retainer using a height micrometer. After measuring all the valves, find the shortest height. This will be the spring's installed height on your heads. Shims will be used to obtain the shortest installed height on the remaining valves. Plus or minus 20 thousandths is acceptable. While we've got everything set up here, we're gonna take a few more measurements. We're gonna measure from the top of the valve seal to the bottom of the retainer to check the valve seal clearance. This distance must be greater than the lift of the valve. If not, the guide must be machined to avoid cam failure. This video goes into that process further. Now once we have the springs installed, it's very important to check for coil bind. This means that when the valve is fully open, there must be a minimum of 60 thousandths clearance between the coils of both the inner and outer springs. If there isn't enough clearance, the springs will bind, leading to engine failure. If the spring is coil binding, to solve this, you'll want to possibly change the shims, the locks, the spring, the valve, or machine the pocket. Always check the clearance between the retainer and inside of the rocker arm. It's important to check and see if you have the proper rocker arm and retainer combo as well as rocker geometry. If you need some help with that, you can check out this video about achieving proper rocker arm geometry. Now let's talk about spring loads for a minute. If you've bought a new set of valve springs from comp cams, they've been matched for load consistency. This means all the spring pressures are within a tolerance of each other. If you didn't get your springs from us, or if you just want some peace of mind, you can use a spring checker to ensure that your loads are within 10% of each other. First, measure and note the thickness of the retainer from its highest point on top of where it sits on the outermost spring. Then place the retainer and spring on the base of the spring checker. Compress the spring to the desired install height, taking into account the thickness of the retainer that you measured a moment ago. This dial gives you the spring's force. Now that you've gotten your new springs installed, it's important for the springs to be broken in by going through a heat set. This is a very simple but crucial step. Now is a good time to spray the springs, rockers, and push rods with CompCam's valve train assembly spray, especially if this is a new engine build to aid break-in. Upon initial startup, let the engine reach normal operating temps. Limit the RPM to 1500 to 2000 RPM. Shut the engine off and let the springs cool to room temperature. And that's all there is to it. I hope this explains the basics of proper valve spring setup. If you still have any questions or concerns, you can always call our helpful technicians or reach us online. We're here Monday through Friday and Saturdays too. As always, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, leave some comments, and stay tuned for further videos.